the ladybirds are actually munching them. You can see all the little black spots. Uh, aphids eat leaves, ladybugs eat aphids. Good morning. Noggins. So, we had a good brick o haul this morning. Um, got loads of boards for all the floors and the turret area. Hopefully they'll be up today. Nick's finishing off the rest of the clearing out. What a productive two weeks. So now all the joists are in and it's noggined, we're going to get the boards up so we can lay the floor properly and then we can get a good winch point up here. In the meantime we've had to rig this pulley system up, so we're hoping it just goes nice and smoothly. Because the gloves are slipping, so I'm using it. My body weight instead of pulling my arm. I'm fine, never do that, but we love that.
Touch up tool. What a monumentous time. The last wheelbarrow stuff is going out of the basement. <laughs> Saying, lining them all up like that, it's like the end of a Top Gear special. <laughs> The poor little digger's getting his first taste of fresh air in over two weeks been sat in that basement. Well done, you did well. Whole basement's clear now, bar a little bit of tidying up. The space in here was just so vast. On this room, now completely clear. What a maze of rooms. This room where the pillar was with the two arches. Unbelievable transformation. We still got, actually, we still got the old boiler to take out, which that's gonna be a job, but that's not a job yet. All this clear, all the roof gone, all the, look, look. That's where the massive hole was with a boiler and stuff in the corner, all that's been removed and flattened. Hello! Hello! You're so dirty! Feels unreal that this is all done. I think next week, I know some of you enjoy them, some of you don't, I'll do a look back video and just all the rooms getting cleared, what it was all like before and what it's like now. Just a quick little refresh to see how far we've come, you know. Anyway, the turret. Okay, this is gonna go one or two ways. Absolutely mad. To be up here on a floor, 
and like feel the room. I mean, actually, <laughs> a little bit nerve wracking because, you know, there is a 14 metre drop underneath my ass, which I'm quite aware of. But once you get over that, so cool. The boards have got to go all the way to that balcony when I get them up, but it's the first time being able to walk from balcony. What a view, by the way. To balcony. And what a room as well. Obviously, this is going to be within the roof space, but that amazing view out of there. And then a balcony and a door here. Double doors and a balcony there and a little balcony there. It is going to be some space up here. Yeah. God, I'm pleased with that. Now we've got all the stuff to mount the winch on this floor, so that means the scaffolding can come down, the winch can be installed, and, and, maybe we can even put up a temporary staircase once the scaffold's down as well. So it's a big, this floor changes a lot of things, and it gives me access to this floor, just here, which is the same as I've just done, but then that is the top of the turret. That allows me to create a frame to make that waterproof and a platform to take all this debris down. So I know roughly what a lot of the rooms are used for, but I've never really had any accounts of like people that have been in them. But I heard one account that this was the last room to be finished in the chateau. And the guy who built it, the Russian industrialist, saved this room as his little office and all that was in here was a desk and a giant telescope, a big brass telescope that looked out over these double doors. Which is just quite a cool thing to think that I'm finally stood back on this floor, you know? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the progress and I will see you tomorrow.